Hi, it's Thursday night, the 3rd of December, and day 337 of my journey to business alignment. I'm still living the dream, and I'm charting my course of action with positivity and with the hope of a more exciting and bright future, one that's filled with new adventures. My power statement this morning said, when I'm done getting the worksheet text links all set up and working properly, I will move on to the next task on the remaining entrepreneur task list of tasks. When I got up to my office this morning, I saw that Fahad had gotten all of the links set up with the text links for all the product landing pages, the worksheets, and so forth. And so I went through and checked them all, and I found a few links that were linked up to a wrong file. And so I sent him the notes to show the link and the file and the link in the file so he could correct those. Anyway, here's what I had on my to-do list for today. My most important task for today was, like I just said, to have Bahad fix a couple, three of those links so they're connected to the right files. My fun task for today was to have Fahad fix Step Lesson One's video. It doesn't open properly. When you land on that page and you click on their larger picture, it pops up a video, but it's blank. It's not showing that. And so something wasn't quite right, so I sent him a note to get that fixed. And my exciting task for today was to jump on a chat with Entreport Helper to learn how to add the right little string of code that puts a person's first name on an email when it says hi, and then in brackets of their first name, or in the body of the email somewhere. And I want that to do it. And I learned how to do that. Next, let's get going through the end of the day success routine questions. Get honest with yourself, Marty. What didn't go well today? Or what could you have done better today? Did you wake up early and start strong? Yes. Did you start your morning with power? When the morning, when the day does that? Absolutely did. Were you productive throughout your day? Well, let me show you. Here's the list that I got done in my to do All of them done. And then I also had this additional page that got added all of those done for the day. Bam, got those done. And here I've been talking about this here. It says the next Entreport task to do. So let me just read a few of those. Get the account page working. I'm going to have to have Entreport help me with that. All the other things are done now. The membership is working. So on the last of the page, it's a link that opens up a page that is their account information. i got to get that set up. And then go into all order forms and change back to the actual price. And I had them all set to $1 so I could do all the testing. But now I've done that. I'm going to go through it one more time. But then I'll send them all back to adult to the right pricing. And then prepare 12 calendar Zoom call schedules for Vahad to change out the old month with the new month. We all know that, that when on my call schedule page, it lists the days of all the different calls that are done two a week, so forth, on the date and times and so forth. Well, that's for a month. Then it's going to shift and have new dates for the next month shift you have new dates for the next month so I got to do that anyway I got all those here this is all that's left to do on those tasks remaining I do have a full three pages of that of the remaining on court tasks there's that page there's this page and then there is this last little cup of three thing. So it's only a little more than two pages. Uh, you see the little line here. That's so I can check it off, check it off, check it off. And I love checking it off and scribbling and wadding it up. So those are yet to be done. But that's all that's there. So exciting. So I did move my pieces through the portal of my mind into the world of the physical. And I showed up as the person I wanted to. And I was there for Kathleen. And she was present for me. Next are my end of the day success routine accountability questions. Were you on? with yourself about today's task, Marty. In other words, did you keep your promises that you made to yourself this morning? Okay, I promised myself this morning that I would check with Fahad and see if all the text links went the right to the right files, and then I would jump on a chat with Entreport Helper, and so they could help me learn how to do that little code thing. That's what I set out to do, and I got the Fahad thing done, and I got the other one done. So fun. It was called a merge, and it drops on it, you highlight where you want it, and it drops down, and you select first names and last name, whatever. And I click first name. It plops the code right there. Wow, so wonderful, this tool. The next question is, what movies did you watch during your mindfulness time today, Marty? Did you make time for them? And were there any new instant preplay movies for you to watch today? Well, besides my must-see TV favorite five movies, my go-to-the-movies time, I also took a little time to watch and imagine I had launched my focus group because my website is so close to being finished now. Since that is the next task I will jump on once the website is finished, I thought it would be fun to watch that movie as though it had already been done. My next question says, what's the one thing that would make all the difference going forward? What one thing 
Can I do better tomorrow? Even if the day goes sideways, trying to get it done, I still feel like a success. What would that one thing be? Now turn it to a power statement. Well, going forward, I feel the one thing I can do better every day is to continue prioritizing the remaining entreport tasks list that I showed you and push myself to get the next one done and get the next one done and get the next one until they're all done. I resort that look and in time of things and when I have other things to do, I rearrange the priorities, which is what I've taught on my morning when I start my day. My most important task, my fun task, my exciting task. But I talk about the list what I prepare the night before and I shuffle and do so I more things become and change the priorities. And that's what I do with these entreport tasks. That said, my power statement for tomorrow is going to say, now that I have all the worksheet and article links all set up and working properly on that Step Lessons product landing pages and their video lessons working, I will focus on the list of remaining tasks until I check off the last one and it's done. The next question of my end of the day success routine is to ask myself, were there any mistakes or failures that you may have had today, Marty, that you can turn into tool of success going forward? Today was a, a day focused on getting some of the remaining tasks that I have listed on both my next Entreport task list, which I showed you, and my remaining Entreport task list. And I showed you those. As you can see, they were all more detail-oriented than functionality reordering uh, to make me learn how to do this and that. They're just getting certain things done. Anyhow, the next question is, what was your biggest success today, Marty? In other words, what did you do well today? What can I do better? What do I do well? And what am I thankful for? Well, now I'm on the what did I do well today. My success today was getting all that I got done without something <laughs> blowing up in my face or me getting stuck and being delayed on my long chat with a, an entreport helper, for example. The day went rather smoothly and bam, bam, bam. And that's a big success to me in my mind anyway. I love it. Anyhow. Way to go, Marty. Good job. Anyway, the next thing uh, is the end of the day success routine question, which asks me to ask, rate your day's effort. Well, I decided to give today's effort a nine. I work at the speed of nine all day as I worked on getting some of the remaining tasks done. I had to slow down a little bit to go out and run some errands, run to the bank here and do this shopping there and whatever and such. And that's okay. Life has to take place and we keep going and getting some details done. We can't stay focused all the time, every minute, every day. And that's okay. But it did slow me down a few things on getting a few of those things done that I want to get done. But I still gave myself a nine. That's the only way I dinged it just at one point. Okay, I want to end the day strong. Here's what I'm grateful for for today. I'm grateful for the principle that says there is a magnificent obsession that is exciting and good. It is the creation of a compelling future. The creation of a dream. I have a question for you. Can you dream? Can you let your imagination run wild like it once did when you were a child? Are you committed, really committed, to grabbing a hold of and releasing the power within you, that passion that's available to you, so you can squeeze all the dream juice that's within it for pursuing the life you want so your dream can live? Those are great questions. I want you to know that you are in the position right now to make decisions that can and will make all the difference between a life of just dreaming and a life of actually doing. Too many of us know what we should do, right? But we never do it. We never find the power within ourselves to get up and get after it. And the reason for this hesitancy, this procrastination, is the lack of drive that only a compelling future can provide. If you have a compelling passion for this dream, you can't sit still, you can't relax, you can't procrastinate. So hopefully, I can help you let go of your fear and begin to dream at your highest level to brainstorm out the wildest possibilities so you can discover something that will really push your life to the next level. The kind of dream that offers your compelling future. A dream that offers a compelling future will create the energy and momentum you'll need if you're ever going to change your life's course. It will pull you like a magnet through your toughest times, and it will provide you the inspiration you'll need to keep yourself firmly on the task to get done so you can pursue that life you seek and that you truly deserve. There's nothing like experiencing your true passion. Let me repeat that. There's nothing like experiencing your true passion. Passion. There's nothing that even comes close to it. So let's get after it, shall we? These principles lead to the next thing I'm grateful for, the law of imagination, which simply says the only limit to what you can have in your life 
is the size of your imagination and the level of your commitment to making it real. Meaning, the level of intensity of your commitment, your dream. I want you to throw away all your common sense for just a moment and act as if you are a kid again, okay? A kid who can literally have anything you want. Let me quote from Anthony Robbins' book, the giant within you. I want you to be a kid who has only to express his heart's desire and it will instantly be yours. Do you remember the Arabian tales known as the Thousand and One Nights? Most people's favorite tale in that series is Aladdin's Lamp. All of us put ourselves in that tale where we long to get our hands on that magic lamp. All you had to do is rub it and a mighty genie appeared to carry out your every wish, or at least three of them, right? You've heard me talk about the plus factor. The fact is, all of us possess a lamp of sorts that's not limited to just three wishes. I'm here to tell you that it's time for you to release your powerful plus factor, that force within you that Anthony called the giant within you, and I call it your plus factor, and you'll be unstoppable in creating mental, emotional, physical, financial, and spiritual abundance beyond your wildest fantasies. The only limit to what you can have in your life is the size of your dream and the intensity of your commitment to it. Next, I'm grateful for Carl Sandburg who said, listen to this, nothing happens unless you first have a dream. Let me repeat a quote I've said many, many times. Success, success is a progressive realization of a worthwhile dream or goal. Let me modify this by adding this. By thinking correct thoughts and right thinking, you will attract into the portal of your mind all your dreams, and through your action, by doing the tasks that make up that dream or goal, you will manifest it into the world of the physical, where it's real. Remember, thoughts are physical things, so intensify them and your success energy will release the power of your dream within you, your plus factor. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for tonight. I'll be back here tomorrow night right at my laptop sharing my heartfelt feelings, but until then, I wish you continued success. Good night.